What's up guys, Chris here. We're gonna be washing my 240SX today. Uh, we're gonna put the Chemical Guy ceramic coating on it. We're also gonna do the wheels. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it sprayed off now, wiped down, and uh, we'll, get that, we'll get that done. We're gonna get the car uh, in the trailer today. We're gonna get it off to the fab shop probably tomorrow. Um, I gotta call Matt over there. I might take it Monday. Uh, he's gonna pretty much start the process on getting the big tires put on it. I'll show you guys there. I'll show you guys the big tires here in a second. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this bad boy washed. Get ceramic coat on it. These aren't the wheels that are gonna be on it anymore. Those are my brother's wheels that I'm borrowing. Um, I'll show you about. We'll show you his car a little later as well. But yeah, get this bad boy washed. gasket for that pressure washer all right guys i'm gonna shammy her off get all the get all the wetness off of it and then i will start applying the ceramic coat the car down on the bottle it says to apply it to a dry surface um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the air and maybe blow some more water out of the little cracks and stuff um, so I want to remind you guys this isn't a how-to video on how to apply this stuff um, I'm basically doing it off of what I read off the bottle um, if you want to see how to apply this stuff on another YouTube uh, video. I think Chemical Guys has a really good video on that shows you how to apply this stuff, but I'm basically just going off of what it says to do off the bottle. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get the air on it, get some air out of the creases and stuff, then I'll start applying it. ceramic coating is applied um, on the bottle it says to let it sit like I think two to three minutes or something like that and then you, you literally just take a clean microfiber towel and you just wipe it off and gives it protection so I'll be doing that now ceramic coated coat is um applied to the car I gotta tell you man 
it feels good i like it the reason why i'm doing this before we're taking it to the fab shop is he's gonna be doing a lot of fabrication on the car inside um he's gonna be putting a new cage um it's gonna have a whole new floor it's gonna have carbon fiber floors carbon fiber tubs to fit the big tire and there's gonna be a lot of dust flying in the air from him like like metal shaving dust flying from the air from him cutting the floor out um doing stuff like that wilding i mean i think he's gonna i think he's actually gonna wild the cage separate and then basically drop the car on top of the the new cage um we are going with a spindle mount for an end um i got my new spindle mount wheels over there i'll show you guys those in a second we're gonna ceramic coat those also and we're gonna ceramic coat um the new wheels that are going on the car i'll show you guys those uh hang tight all righty guys um i'm gonna show you the wheels we're going to be putting the ceramic coat on these are the wheels that are going on the 240 they are 33 by 17 with a 16 so the wheels are 16 by 16 they're the delta uh ps i think it stands for like pro stock or something like that um these things are gonna look crazy under there just give you a little bit of a comparison of what was on the car is on the car to what's gonna be going on um they're wide like i said we do a lot of street racing on this uh channel uh, i'm gonna take you guys along for all of our test hits that we're doing this is the car i am building right now um i've had it for about a year i'll put some pictures uh so you guys can see how I got the car. I basically got the car for the cage and I'm cutting the cage out now anyway. And it sucks, but I had to get the car painted. Um, did a lot of fab work stuff to it. Um, the motor's not in it yet. This is a borrowed block. Um, it is gonna be a 2J. The guy who is putting the big tires on the car, the fabrication shop, his name is Matt at Viking Fab. He cut off my front end. We call him the must, the Mr. Cut your front end off guy. Um, but he did this one. He did an amazing job. Um, he also did some stuff to fit a Ford 9 inch in it. Um, that is actually going under my brother's car now because I ended up wanting to go big tire. I bought the Ford 9 inch kit. I bought the solid rear end. Uh, kit from IDS John Rogers um, Kit's amazing I'm not saying it wasn't good none of that stuff. I'm just I wanted to go big tire So we're gonna make basically make it a three-quarter chassis car um, And then I need a new rear end a new housing rather um, So we're putting that whole kit my brother has a 240 as well. We're putting that whole kit under his car It's a racecraft nine inch it's got a Mosier third member with 40 spline Mosier axles he's got the IDA the IDS coilovers as well um, I'll show you more about that car in another video we'll do a full walk around on it I'll have my brother tell you guys what's done to that thing um, I can show you guys the other wheels that we are going to be putting the ceramic coat on this is my parts little corner over here i have motors in here the head i have everything these are the wheels that we're going to be ceramic coating they are b-series uh strain spindle um i'm going to be going with menser coilovers around the whole thing uh we're going to do a timic amos fabricated housing um car has a 2j like i said it's a three four stroker um spec all out by real street um put together by mozworks mark he did the head as well it's a mozworks stage four uh cnc ported head gsc s3 cams um i might switch over to the r2m cams because i think i'm gonna end up with methanol it's got a pro mod 88 xpr turbo the intake manifold is from cpc uh custom plenum creations is what it stands for he's out of australia he actually did 
the radiator with billet end tanks. He did my intercooler with billet end, end tanks. Um, you guys will see all that stuff. I'll go through my whole parts boxes, show you guys everything that I have for the car so far. There's still some stuff I'm lacking, but right now we just need to get the car rolling on the big tires and then we can go from there. Uh, the car's probably, it's either gonna go MoTeC or FuelTech. I haven't decided what ECU I'm gonna go with yet. Um, if you guys have comments on that or you guys go ahead and put them in in the comments and i'll i'll try and read through those as best as i can and make a decision on what ecu that's going to end up going in this car um it's hopefully going to be done at the end of this winter and then we'll start getting to testing on this bad boy hopefully the beginning of next summer that'd be awesome but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get the ceramic coat put on these wheels ceramic coating on them feel really 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 smooth you know good it's a very very easy process cool thanks for watching next video will be us putting that car in the trailer and probably taking it to the fab shop show you guys around there like i said again thanks for watching